Reconciling is an important step in managing your business. Let's go over what it is, what you should do before you reconcile, and then how to reconcile in QuickBooks. When you reconcile, you are making sure the records you have been keeping in QuickBooks match your bank and credit card statements. First, make sure that you have accurate records in QuickBooks. Record all your money coming in for the month and all your money going out for the month in QuickBooks. Connecting your bank and credit card accounts to QuickBooks and then categorizing all those transactions is the fastest and best way to keep your books accurate. Go to bookkeeping to get started. Note that we will go over how to do this in Business View. You can see all the transactions that are on QuickBooks here. It is best to reconcile your account every month after you get your statement from the bank. You'll need your statement to match the bank's records to QuickBooks, so have it handy. Once you are ready to reconcile, go to Settings and select Reconcile. Choose the bank or credit card account you want to reconcile. Enter in the ending balance and the ending date from the bank or credit card statement you received. Double check that your opening balance matches your statement. If everything looks good, select Start Reconciling. Now take your bank statement and compare that to the information in QuickBooks, especially the dates and amounts. Find an item in your statement and then find it here. If they match, then put a tick next to it. If you see an item in your reconcile list that is not on your statement, then don't tick it. If you have your account connected to QuickBooks, you'll see many transactions are ticked. These items were already reconciled when QuickBooks downloaded them and you matched them in QuickBooks when you received your transaction feed. So no need to worry about these. Once you verify all items from your statement in QuickBooks, you should have a zero balance. That tells you that there is zero difference between what's in QuickBooks and what's on the bank statement. If you have a difference, then you'll see the amount here and you'll need to work out why. First, select Edit Info and verify that your beginning balance, ending balance and ending date are all correct. If they are, go back and check any transactions with those you manually entered in QuickBooks and look for the item that didn't already have a tick next to it when you started and see if you can find the error. You can select any item for more details. If you need to make a change, you can enter it and save. If you can't find the error, you can still choose to finish and accept the difference. QuickBooks will create a journal entry that adjusts your books by the amount of the difference. However, you should talk to your accountant before doing this. Usually, it's best to resolve any differences in the reconciliation and to not perform this task. Once you've reached a difference of zero, select Finish Now and then Done. You can look at a detailed history of your reconciliations at any time by selecting History by Account. Now you can try reconciling your accounts in QuickBooks.